Do I welcome? Uh, do I need? I don't know if I need this. Uh, uh, I just wanted to mention a, a little bit of the history of the Polls Network. In 2010, 2011, a number of people met at the National Science Foundation from U.S. universities that were, I would say, pioneering in having. Uh, physics departments and other physical science departments focus on biological systems. And uh, the idea was, well, how can we help students who are going to be trained in this area uh, to uh, learn about this very broad set of subjects that uh, make up this area of science? Uh, how could they meet their colleagues, whatever? And the idea of creating a network uh, that would enable students uh, to meet each other on a number of occasions, sometimes social, sometimes uh, intellectual, uh, sometimes both, uh, would uh, be a good idea, and the Pulse Network was born. If, after a few years, it became obvious that there was no particular reason to limit this to the United States. And so we uh, contacted groups of people in France, in Germany, uh, and they joined us, and it became the International Physics of Living Systems Network. And now we're very happy to have uh, new participants joining from Italy, from Switzerland, other places. And it really is now an international organization whose only focus is on getting students who work on using physical science, computational, experimental, quantitative ideas uh, coming from physical science and engineering to really make more progress in biological systems than could have been otherwise possible. Now, on the US side, uh, it's very clear that this could not have happened without the strong support of the National Science Foundation. And I want to thank them for support over all these many years for all the different uh, participants who uh, have been able to come to these meetings and enjoy the uh, intellectual environment that these meetings provide. And uh, I wanted to introduce Saul Gonzalez, there he is, who is actually head of physics at the National Science Foundation to also say a few words. This will really be uh, just a few words because they're still working on my badge. Um, I, it's really great to be here. I am the, the, the new division director in the division of physics at the NSF. Uh, I am by training an experimental particle physicist, so sorry for that. Um, I really wish I could take credit for the, for the Pulse Network, but that was uh, credit to my predecessor, Denise Caldwell, and to Krastan Blagojevich, who's up there. And now to Angel, who's another NSFer sitting there. Um, I think this is, this. I, I, I have to say, within the Division of Physics and within our director, in my mind, this is the most interesting, most potentially transformational uh, program that we have. And like all things, um, the, the, the be we benefit from, 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 uh, from diverse backgrounds, diverse perspectives, and that, I think, was the, the, the idea about uh, making this international and bringing that, that workforce. We all know uh, how important it is to understand the basic physical principles behind <coughs> biological systems, and I think the later part of this, of this century will be, this will be one of the key the key, um, uh, we're going to be having a lot of key advances with the convergence of computing, our understanding, uh, even quantum, uh, if you want. Uh, so I really look forward. I'm here to learn and happy to talk as many uh, of you as possible during the next few days. So thank you. Okay. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Antonio Celani. I'm the head of the Quantitative Life Sciences section here at ICTP. Uh, so, welcome at ICTP. Mm, this year is the 60th anniversary of ICTP, uh, which was founded uh, uh, in 1964 by uh, Abdus Salam. Uh, the mission of ICTP is threefold uh, to foster 
research, uh, higher education, and the cooperation in uh, developing countries. Uh, to do so, we um, uh, are helped uh, by uh, our uh, main institutions, which are uh, the Italian government, the uh, uh, International Agency of Atomic Energy, uh, and UNESCO. So, uh, the, like I said, the purpose of ICTP is uh, uh, to uh, provide global outreach in sciences. So this is a snapshot of uh, the kind of activities that we uh, uh, had running last year. So you see these things cover more or less uh, all the globe. And uh, every year we have uh, around 60 workshops or schools like this one uh, here and uh, elsewhere. Uh, there are uh, in excess of 5,000 visitors each year that come here at ICTP. Uh, so this is uh, our mission in uh, line of uh, uh, the words by uh, Abdus Salam, uh, who already from the beginning had, in, had envisaged ICTP as a uh, space uh, which uh, could be uh, safe and peaceful for researchers from all over the world. Uh, ICP has hosted scientists from India, from Pakistan, where the situation was extremely tense. Uh, uh, people from uh, 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 both sides of the Iron Curtain uh, before 1989. Uh, at some point, this was the only place where Western uh, uh, scientists could uh, talk with scientists from uh, 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 the other side of the of the Iron Curtain. Uh, and this mission is. Uh, still living, of course, and uh, uh, needed all the more uh, in these uh, current times. Thank you. So, hello, everyone. Um, well, thank you for coming. Uh, to Trieste, my name is Jacopo Griglia, I'm one of the organizers. And uh, so before we start with the science, I wanted to give uh, a couple of uh, logistical information. Uh, first of all, I'm the one to uh, complain with for the missing pages. So sorry for the ones that uh, didn't get one. <laughs> no, 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 sorry for that, no. And uh, so, um, uh, the, well, all the talks are gonna be here. The posters are gonna be in, uh, in uh, a room, it's, a large corridor that it's basically behind this room. So if you have a poster, you can put it today, put on it today, and uh, you can leave it until uh, Friday. No need to remove it uh, during night, and we will have the poster session um, uh, uh, on Tuesday, tomorrow. Mm. Uh, the talks are, uh, as I said, all are gonna be here. So there is gonna be a chairman for each session. Uh, we, for simplicity, we'll ask uh, uh, if you have a question to come uh, in front and so to ask the question here there, and there, there are two microphones. Um, yeah. And um, the coffee breaks are going to be, if it doesn't uh, rain, uh, it are going to be on the terrace uh, upstairs and also the lunch is going to be served there. Okay? If it rains, it's going to be in the cafeteria which is on the first floor. Uh, the reception is going to be tomorrow night after the, the main poster session and it's going to be again on the main terrace, hoping that it doesn't rain. So with that, I think we can start uh, with, the, with the talks and the reason why we are here. And uh, well, I hope uh, you're going to have a great uh, time for the science and uh, time to explore the city and also the surroundings. So thank you very much.